Hello, everyone. I'm Masai Kitanaka. I'm currently working at the uh, National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Today, I'm going to talk about um, Galaxy Cruise. Um, Galaxy Cruise is a uh, citizen science project uh, focused on nearby galaxies. Um, as you know, there are a few previous citizen science projects on nearby galaxies. And I think the most famous one is Galaxy Zoo. Um, Galaxy Cruise has a few uh, key differences uh, from the previous citizen science projects. But before I go into details, um, I'd like to show you a movie uh, which you know, uh, tells you what the Galaxy Cruise is about. Set sail for the cosmic ocean. You can see various types of galaxies. How did such a variety of galaxies come to be? Therein lies the history of the universe. Let's start on a journey to travel around many galaxies. So that's Galaxy Cruise. Um, one unique aspect of Galaxy Cruise is that um, it's based on uh, imaging data taken at the Sibel Telescope. And Sibel Telescope um, is an 8.2 meter telescope um, installed at the summit of Mauna Kea, and also um, one of the biggest uh, telescopes in the world. Uh, you see here the beautiful sky over Mauna Kea, and as you can imagine, imagine um, images taken at the scenery um, just excellent. You know, they are an excellent resource for scientific research. Um, to demonstrate the image quality at Subaru, uh, I'm going to make a comparison. So um, here's an image from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey uh, on which many of the previous Sun science projects are based. Um, you see four galaxies line up at the center. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. These galaxies appear to be you know, normal galaxies. Yeah, yeah, they're just you know, normal galaxies. But if you look at the same part of the sky or the survey, you get this image. You find these galaxies are actually interacting galaxies. You see tidal features around them. So this is a whole new world, right? So there's a lot of new science you can do with this image. And at the same time, the public people will be delighted to see these you know, beautiful images. So in order to do science and also to engage with the public, uh, we have launched this is a science project, Galaxy Cruise. Uh, I'm going to show you how you join um, Galaxy Cruise and become a cruise member. Okay, um, so the first thing you have to do is to launch your web browser and go to the Galaxy Cruise website. Um, I think the easiest way for you to find the Galaxy Cruise website is just to do a Google search with the Galaxy Cruise. I, I think you can find it. Um, on this website, there's a lot of information about the Galaxy Cruise, uh, as well as us, as well as um, lots of nice articles. Uh, but for now, um, let's talk about how you join uh, Galaxy Cruise. Um, to join Galaxy Cruise, um, you first have to train yourself um, on Galaxy Shapes. So you first go training and go over the online tutorial. Um, there are three lessons, um, none of which is very difficult. Um, except maybe maybe for the last one. Last one may be a little bit difficult, but you can go over these lessons and gain a basic uh, understanding of uh, galaxy shapes. You know, things like there are spiral galaxies, there are elliptical galaxies. Um, this feature and that feature are typical features for your know, galaxy galaxy interactions, etc. Um, once you complete your training, um, you will get a boarding pass. And with the boarding pass, uh, you can now get on board. So you uh, go log in. Uh, when you first come here, um, you uh, will need to create your account. So you do create an account. This should be uh, pretty easy. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. Okay, so this is the main uh, screen of Galaxy Cruise. Um, as you see, this works you know, uh, just like, oh, that was a bad region. 
just like uh, Google Map. Um, you can zoom in and pan and the green, um, by the way, the green regions show the uh, regions where we have the survey data. And you can zoom in one of the uh, green regions uh, to find um, you know, um, interesting objects like this. So as you see, this system is quite interactive. You can actually go around the universe as you like. And this is the, one of the biggest differences uh, uh, from the previous uh, season size projects. Okay, um, now let's start the classification. Um, you click on, the, uh, on this icon on the bottom right, and you go to the, the, the part of the galaxy to classify. So the, uh, the galaxy at the center uh, is a part of the galaxy. I'm going to classify this object. Um, this is obviously an uh, interesting galaxy. And the first question you need to answer is whether this galaxy is a spiral galaxy or a liquid galaxy. Um, this is, I think, a liquid galaxy. And then the next question is, if this is this galaxy interacting or not? Well, I see some interacting, well, interaction features, so I'm going to say yes. Uh, then uh, I can choose you know, our features that I see in this uh, pattern. Uh, there are a few, uh, so, uh, you know, four options here, uh, but you learn all these features during the uh, online uh, tutorial. Okay, I'm done with this galaxy, so I'm going to click Submit. Then I go to the next galaxy cluster. Let's see. Ah, this is a nice galaxy. I, I clearly see a, a sort of shell feature on this one. Okay, so this is basically how you classify objects and just keep on and um, going. Um, we have put a lot of efforts uh, in the, um, what do you call it, gamification. Um, so for instance, um, let me go back. We split the, uh, the sky into multiple towns and multiple continents. And when you finish your current town and continent and move on to the next one, um, you will get a stamp on your passport. So if you click on your passport icon, uh, here I see uh, my stamps on my passport. Uh, I only have two stamps on my passport, uh, which is not very good. I'm supposed to be classifying more galaxy, but <laughs> this is what I have. And you can also collect souvenirs as you, as you go along. Um, I only have four souvenirs, uh, but um, as you see, you can collect many, many souvenirs uh, if you classify many of these. Okay, um, what else? Um, let me go to the ranking. If you click on the ranking uh, on the top right, uh, you see how your you know, um, how the other uh, crew members are doing. Uh, this shows the number of classification made by the other crew members. I'm gonna look at the uh, monthly ranking. Ah, okay, uh, there are two people who classified over 7,000 galaxies uh, in the past month. Uh, for some reason, I'm seeing some Japanese characters, but this should be um, If you classify many objects, your menu will appear in this listing. And, and this way, you can compete with other uh, uh, crew members. This is going to be fun. Let's see, what else? Um, you occasionally get a message from the captain. Um, captain of Galaxy Cruise is for some reason me. <laughs> so I, I, I send you a message time to time. And I try to yeah, motivate you um, during the course of the summer, in the course of the uh, cruise. Okay. Um, so this is basically how, how the system I and mean, galaxy cruise works. Um, you can classify many, many objects. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but if you get tired of classifying objects, um, then I would suggest um, you just walk around the universe. You know, uh, Like I said, um, this works just like a Google Map. So you can um, zoom into one of the regions and just look at the you know, deep sky. This is actually a lot of fun. And let me see if I can find an interesting object. This is a part of the galaxy. Huh. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice spiral galaxy. And I see a pinto without an infection in the outer space. Nice. Um, if you come across a nice galaxy, um, you can take a picture. You can take a screenshot with this icon. And you can you know, uh, make your collection of uh, your favorite objects. Okay, I think this is basically 
Yes, um, um, I showed you how you um, join galaxy keys and how you classify objects. Um, I hope you found galaxy keys interesting. Um, so feel free to um, join galaxy keys today. I'm looking forward to uh, welcoming you on board. Thank you very much. I'll stop there.